Yes, we are. The first train's come and gone. Now we have to wait for the next one. We will be on time. Barely. You know how I like to be early. <sighs> What's the point? You're not going to talk to anybody. You're just going to sit and watch and do your little observation thing. So I like to get a feel for the room. Know what I'm dealing with. Which is impossible to do now that we are late. Again, with the late thing, I told you we will be on time. I waited for you until three. Kept you. I was out. You know, meeting new people, having a few drinks, talking to girls. You wouldn't have liked it. Meet anyone interesting? Seriously, we're gonna go there? You never like any of the girls that I want you to meet. They're always too much of this or not enough of that. So I've got high standards. <laughs> It's kept me out of a lot of bad situations. It's kept you out of every situation. Well, there was Sarah. Sarah, really? You're gonna bring up Sarah? Well, I did. You did nothing. I was the one who set you up. I was the one who talked you up. Actually, the only thing that you did do was let her walk away. Like we were so perfect together. Yes. Yes, you were. That's what scared you so much. So what? She tells you some sob story about past experiences and her fear of failure. And you take this as some sort of recipe for success? That sounds a lot like somebody I know. You kissed her. It was about the moment. It was about living in the moment. It's not always a lofty ideal or some big universal plan. Yeah? And then what? The moment's gone, and two days later, she's out the door. You let her go! It ended like I said it would. It was a self-fulfilled prophecy! It ended because you predicted it would end. It was a relationship, and all relationships inevitably come to an end. You gotta let that go, man. Our parents! No, our parents?! We made a pact that day. We made a pact that we weren't going to use what happens as a crutch. That's exactly what you've done. If our parents hadn't done what they- No, if our parents hadn't done what they did, I wouldn't have put up with you every goddamn day. Hey! You needed me. You needed me to get you through that. You just couldn't let your precious little world be compromised. But? That's all over now, and I don't need you anymore. Really? Well, I'm still here, aren't I? You're still here because you won't leave me alone. When I go to work, you're there. When I come home, you're there. When I'm trying to make new friends, you're there when I'm trying to move on! Move on! You can never move on. I can never move on. Because you won't let me! <laughs>